You both are filmmakers turned actors. Do you consider yourself actors? Do you consider yourself filmmakers? What is your label or no labels? I'm a, I'm a really good actor, so. Yeah. <laughs> I consider, I consider myself an actor. Actor, okay. Actor. A thespian, yes. if you will. Yeah. A thespian. Mm -hmm. Sir J. Dubois. Sir. Right. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Um, I hope that came off as a joke. But, it did, um, it did. But yeah. Everybody hates you, it's okay. No, we love you, Linus. Please don't hate we me. We love you. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I am started out doing acting. I went to acting school, but but I, I kind of only did that because my, uh, is this weird? My dad didn't really have the confidence that I'd be able to go to film school. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dad. <laughs> We're okay now, yeah. though. Um, but like literally, yeah, he was like, maybe acting school, because I think I was interested in both, you know. Um, but in high school, I, st I made short films and stuff for instead of a, for an English project, instead of like writing something, I did a short film thing. So yeah, but uh, but anyway, but I like I think of myself. Should we back up? Oh yeah, I'll I don't back know. up I earlier. Think that was the Manson I was born motorcycle. on a on a cold day in February. <laughs> Motorcycles clear. All right. They are. Yeah. Okay. I think of myself as an actor and director. Okay. That was a shorter answer. That I was like that. much shorter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about you, Jay? Um, well, this I've only recently started acting, and um, only recently started thinking of myself as an actor. It's weird to say. I don't know why, <laughs> uh, but I do now. I would say I'm an actor. But yeah, I, prior to uh, recently, I mean, I've been the main camera operator on everything that my brother and I have done, and it's never been really even possible physically for me to to be in anything. So. But I've seen you direct a little bit, and you know, um, you you know, you're 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 emotionally involved as much as. The, the actors. Yeah, yeah. You know, I so I don't feel like that's, I was thinking on the way over here today, that's probably why it wasn't as much of some jump, or it's not like, oh, all of a sudden, why are you acting? Right, right. You're just as involved, and like you would, because you guys improvise so much, and um, you know, we did a bit on Manson too, it's like, what about, what if you say that, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, you're just, you're inhabiting it. Yeah. Almost as much. You know. oh, thanks, man. Nice. Appreciate I'm loving that. I'm feeling the love in the room. Psych. Yeah. This is awesome. Just, just kidding. This is great. Um, so knowing that you have, you know, several different hats, if you will, sorry for the cheesy reference to that, but do you compartmentalize how you approach a project or is it still the same in terms of yeah. as an actor or a filmmaker? I mean, for me, it was almost like secondary that I was an actor on, you know, this movie, Man's and Family Vacation, because it was really just... My friend Jay Davis had this very interesting idea that came very much from his life and I thought it was funny and I thought it was, you know, had a lot of depth to it and it was a mystery and a thriller and a road movie. It was all this stuff going on. It was just exciting and he's, he, he wanted to make it and I was like, I want to help you make this movie. Uh, and then he said, and I'd like you to play, you know, the, the guy who's the straight-laced brother. And I was like, you know, it kind of came his instinct on that was that Jay Davis has had a weird obsession with Charles Manson his whole life, and I have always been personally deeply disturbed by that. And I was like, yeah, I can do that on film, no problem, because we've been doing it since I've known him. And also my dad it, it was a lawyer, and I was playing a lawyer, and I was like, yeah, this seems makes sense, and this is a good way for me to be on set and help you make this movie. So I literally didn't even think about it as me being an actor or only recently I was like, yes, I am a lead in a feature film. That's weird. <laughs> uh, but it's, it just comes from this place of like, we're going to make this thing. And that's how my brother and I have always done it. It was just like two dudes in a cave, come out of the cave, make something, go back in the cave and edit it. Um, so it, it's just kind of like an afterthought that I'm an actor. So when you ask, like, are you, are you, do you consider yourself an actor? I'm just like, I just like make movies and stuff. And sometimes I'm in them now is how my brain works it. Okay. Well, Linus, for you, you moved from the Washington area to New York and now to LA. Is that right? Or mm -hmm. maybe your time, that timeline is wrong. I don't yeah. Know. I'm a Rolling Stone. You're a Rolling Stone. Okay, great. Well, I heard you say previously that you're kind of scared of auditions, which I would think that uh, would be odd. No, you're I'm so, not. You're both so I natural. excel at oh, auditions, <laughs> my agent listening. Let's um. try that one more time. Okay, no, no, that's... 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, no. He's, he's as fluid as that last delivery <laughs> was in his audition. Can't you see that I am great yes. at auditioning? Nailed it. And your name is MC. Slate. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, I'm scared of auditions. Uh, what, Why? What, what do you mean? No, now I said it. Why are you putting words in my oh, mouth? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No, so, no. So maybe well, you're not. I was never, no, I went to acting school. I went to NYU, um, studied experimental theater, but, you know, did all kinds of acting and uh, they're not just weird acting. And uh, But when I got out of school, I always just, um, what I liked about that program at NYU was that you, it was about self-generating your own work. There was a lot of, like, one-man show type classes and, you know, um, improv classes and so, uh, you know, if you don't go on to do theater, you you know, it's like close to being a writer and just being a like a maker of stuff. And sure. sometimes you're in it, sometimes you're not. So I never really, I never practiced auditioning. I just didn't, that wasn't even in my brain. I don't know why it wasn't. I mean, I was just like, well, I'm just, I'm graduated, like time to get a job and make stuff, you know? Right. So I just made theater and then started making videos. So what's your take on this whole sort of L.A. actor route? Because you you were in Bass Ackwards, which I absolutely love, and you played yourself, mm-hmm. Linus, right? That mm-hmm. was your, yeah. yeah. And so how is it now to be not the sort of the creator of it, but then the one being picked? I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's, it, there's, I'm, I feel more like an actor because of all, all that side of it where you, someone asks you to be in something and there's that flattering feeling and then you're like, oh shoot, now how am I going to make this work? But I, I feel like I would be more nervous about it if it wasn't, and I think I am nervous about auditioning because it's not about like just like, okay, we're going to do this. You know, like when the camera's there and we're all like working on the characters and the story, that just makes so much more sense than just trying to do the right trying thing. Trying to impress somebody. Yeah, trying to impress somebody or doing the confident <coughs> thing. You know, most of auditioning is about confidence and I right. think I'm, I'm just a, a sensitive you, soul. Why don't you use your acting to be confident in your auditions? So double <laughs> act. What, what about that? Would that work? Because you're that such a good work. actor. Yeah, okay, I will. And whenever I'll you just have pretend to act I have the part. confident. Yeah, pretend you have the part. But then it takes a lot of work because I prepare so much. Right. You know, like we worked so on really this So really it's about year. laziness. It's just about laziness. <laughs> okay. If I just prepared every audition like for I- For like a I, year. Like, for like a year. Yeah. yeah. Why don't I'd you do it. that? <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Okay. And lastly, are either of you taking acting classes? Because you're within the industry, you're working, you had great chemistry in the film, but you still have to kind of hone your craft or or- um, have so much going on. That I don't. <laughs> um, I mean, I took like some culty type acting classes in Austin. It was Meisner Method a long time ago, and it's weirdly has stayed with me. Meisner is great. And I've also just, yeah, I, I think I just, like Linus was saying, because I do write and direct so much, I'm in that world so much, and we're always trying to find truthful moments. Um, and so it, that kind of like keeps you sharp, I think. Uh, I think if you don't do it for a while, like my friend Jenny and I were joking, should we do this short film? Well, it might be bad, but we have to do it or take acting classes because yeah. you're just, you're, you get rusty. Mm. Um, it's, it's a problem. I don't know. I probably should. Uh, yeah, I've done a little bit of Well, you're doing a lot of here. acting now. Yeah. Well, you both had great chemistry. Thanks. It was very believable. So. Thanks. It was a. It was an act. Was it? Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, we hate each other. Yeah, we hate each other's guts. We have no fun together ever. Never. He's not my second favorite human on the planet. Who's wow. your first human? My girlfriend. Oh, okay. Come on, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. 